you to the edge. And around here, they will inspire you. Since the early 2000s, the Need for Speed franchise has been a beloved series for racing game fans around the world. While the series has always been known for its thrilling street racing and police chases, one feature has been a constant favorite among fans, drifting. In this video, we will be exploring the evolution of the drift race mode in Need for Speed, from its humble beginnings as a mechanic in the game to a dedicated event mode where players can showcase their drifting skills. We'll look at how the drift race mode has changed over the years and how it has helped shape the Need for Speed franchise into the game we know and love today. So, buckle up and get ready to take a trip down memory lane as we explore the evolution of drift race mode in Need for Speed. Since the early 2000s, the Need for Speed franchise has been a beloved series for racing game fans around the world. While the series has always been known for its thrilling street racing and police chases, one feature has been a constant favorite among fans, drifting. In this video, we will be exploring the evolution of the drift race mode in Need for Speed, from its humble beginnings as a mechanic in the game to a dedicated event mode where players can showcase their drifting skills. We'll look at how the drift race mode has changed over the years and how it has helped shape the Need for Speed franchise into the game we know and love today. So buckle up and get ready to take a trip down memory lane as we explore the evolution of drift race mode in Need for Speed. Need for Speed, Underground, 2003. Need for Speed. Underground was the first game in the franchise to introduce drifting as a part of the game mechanics. However, there were no dedicated drift events or races. Instead, drifting was a way to earn more money in street races. Players could initiate a drift by hitting the handbrake or power sliding and earn points based on the length and angle of their drift. However, there were no points awarded specifically for drifting and it was not a significant part of the game. Need for Speed, Underground 2, 2004. Need for Speed, Underground 2 added a few drifting events, but they were not a significant part of the game. Players could compete in drift races against other opponents, but the drift mechanics remained the same as the previous game. Drifting was still a way to earn more money in street races, but there were no dedicated events or races specifically for drifting. Need for Speed, Carbon, 2006. Need for Speed, Carbon introduced a new type of race event called Drift Races. In these events, players could compete in drifting events to earn points. Points were awarded based on the length and angle of the drift, as well as the speed and accuracy of the car's line. These points were then used to determine the winner of the event. Drift races were a significant part of the game, and players could earn money and unlock new cars by competing in them.
Need for Speed, Pro Street, 2007. Need for Speed, Pro Street featured a dedicated drift mode where players could earn points by drifting around a track. The mode was similar to the drift races in Need for Speed, Carbon, but it was a separate game mode. Players could earn points based on the length and angle of their drifts, as well as the speed and accuracy of their line. The mode was a significant part of the game, and players could earn money and unlock new cars by competing in it. Need for Speed, Shift, 2009. Need for Speed, Shift included a dedicated drift mode where players could compete in drifting events and earn points based on their drifting skills. The mode was similar to the drift mode in Need for Speed, Pro Street, but it featured more realistic physics and a new scoring system. Players were awarded points based on the length and angle of their drifts, as well as their speed and accuracy. The mode was a significant part of the game and players could unlock new cars and earn money by competing in it. Need for Speed, Shift 2, Unleashed, 2011. Need for Speed, Shift 2, Unleashed, expanded on the drift mode in Need for Speed. Shift by introducing more advanced physics and a new scoring system. Players could earn points based on the length and angle of their drifts, as well as their speed and accuracy. The game also featured a new autolog system, which allowed players to compare their drift scores with their friends and compete for the top spot on the leaderboard. Need for Speed, 2015. Need for Speed, 2015, included a dedicated drift mode where players could compete in drifting events and earn points based on their drifting skills. The mode was similar to the drift mode in Need for Speed, Shift 2 Unleashed, but it featured a new scoring system and more realistic physics. Players were awarded points based on the length and angle of their drifts, as well as their speed and accuracy. The mode was a significant part of the game, and players could unlock new cars and earn money by competing in it.
legendary Stargazers run. Show us what you've got. Gonna crush this. Need for Speed Payback, 2017. Need for Speed Payback included a dedicated drift trial mode where players could compete in drifting events and earn points based on their drifting skills. The mode was similar to the drift mode in Need for Speed, 2015, but it featured a new scoring system and more realistic physics. Players were awarded points based on the length and angle of their drifts, as well as their speed and accuracy. The mode was a significant part of the game, and players could unlock new cars and earn money by competing in it. No hands. I have got to be setting a record or something. Need for Speed Heat, 2019. Need for Speed Heat included a dedicated drift trial mode where players could compete in drifting events and earn points based on their drifting skills. The mode was similar to the drift trial mode in Need for Speed Payback, but it featured more realistic physics and a new scoring system. Players were awarded points based on the length and angle of their drifts, as well as their speed and accuracy. The mode was a significant part of the game, and players could unlock new cars and earn money by competing in it. Need for Speed Unbound 2022 Need for Speed Unbound is the latest game in the long-running Need for Speed franchise, released in 2022. The game takes players on a high-speed journey through an underground street racing scene, where they'll compete against rival crews and work their way up the ranks to become the ultimate racing champion. One of the standout features of Need for Speed Unbound is the new storyline, which follows a group of street racers as they try to make a name for themselves in the racing world. Players will have the chance to create their own custom racer, choose their crew, and compete in a variety of different racing events from traditional circuit races to high-stakes street showdowns. The drift mode in Need for Speed Unbound is one of the game's standout features, offering players a unique and thrilling racing experience. In this mode, players will be tasked with drifting their cars around a variety of challenging courses, earning points for their style and technique along the way. One of the key elements of the drift mode in Need for Speed Unbound is the control system, which allows players to pull off a wide range of drifts and slides with precision and ease. By mastering the timing and direction of their drifts, players can string together long chains of drifting maneuvers, earning increasingly high scores as they go. In addition to the control system, the drift mode in Need for Speed Unbound also features a wide range of customization options. Players can choose from a variety of different cars, each with their own unique handling and performance characteristics, and can customize their vehicles with a wide range of parts and accessories. That concludes the evolution of the Drift Race mode in the Need for Speed franchise. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Or, don't forget to share this video with your friends and racing game enthusiasts.